Hi there, and welcome to Nerding Out with Nevin. I'm Nevin, and this channel is all about celebrating the joy of making things. Whether it's designing in FreeCAD, firing up the 3D printer, experimenting with animation, or diving into a random nerdy project that sparks curiosity, this is where creativity meets a little bit of fun chaos. I believe being a nerd just means loving something enough to learn everything about it. I'm here to share that energy through clear how-to videos, helpful tips I've picked up along the way, ideas you can run with, and a few just for fun projects, because sometimes it's fun to go off script. So grab a seat, get comfortable, and if this sounds like your kind of chaos, give the video a like and tap subscribe while you're here. It helps keep the ideas flowing and the nerdy projects coming. Let's jump into the next adventure. This is the first in a four-part series meant to help make FreeCAD feel way less intimidating and a lot more fun to use. We'll kick things off with the start workbench, checking out the main panels, how to spin up a new project, and some example models that come baked into the app. Up next is part two, where we dive into the Sketcher workbench. It pairs with part design like peanut butter and jelly. One lets you draw 2D shapes, the other turns them into 3D models using tools like the pad feature, which takes your sketch and pops it right off the screen. Part three keeps the momentum going with more sketcher goodness and introduces the pocket tool. Think of it like the digital version of carving something out with a chisel, but way cleaner and with an undo button. It's perfect for cutting holes, grooves, and other features that give your models real depth and purpose. And then there's part four, the big finale. We'll play around with transformation tools that let you flip, copy, and pattern your features like a modeling wizard. Mirror, multi-transform, and a few other handy tricks all show up to help polish things off. We'll even walk through how to package it all up and get your model ready to print. Whether FreeCAD is totally new or just something you've been meaning to learn, this series is a great place to jump in. So grab a snack, maybe open the app, and if you're enjoying the vibe, tap that like button and think about subscribing. It helps the channel grow and keeps the nerdy goodness coming. So what exactly is FreeCAD? It's a free open source 3D modeling tool built for creating real parts with real precision. It isn't trying to be flashy like Blender. It's focused on engineering. Models are built using dimensions and constraint based sketches and everything stays editable so designs can evolve without needing to start from scratch. FreeCAD is built around a system of add-ons called workbenches, each one like its own little toolbox. There's one for architecture, one for simulations, one for sheet metal, and plenty more. If a project needs it, there's probably a workbench for it. While FreeCAD comes with a whole buffet of workbenches, this series will stick with the ones built for parametric design, sketcher, and part design. These are where things get precise, logical, and tweakable making it easy to update models without starting over. In this series, everything's being done in FreeCAD version 1.0.0. Shiny new release, same solid fundamentals. Things have been kept mostly out of the box, but a few tweaks have been made to the ribbon layout to make things easier to demonstrate. If things look a little different on screen, that might be why. There's a link to download FreeCAD in the video description, so feel free to follow along. While you're there, tapping that like button really helps the channel, and subscribing means the rest of the series will be waiting when it's time for the next step. When FreeCAD is launched for the first time, a welcome dialog appears to guide initial configuration. This setup includes selecting the language, unit system, navigation style, and application theme. These settings help tailor the interface and behavior to suit personal preferences or regional standards. While the defaults are suitable for most users, all of these options can be adjusted later in the preferences dialog if needed. The unit system defines how measurements are displayed throughout the application, millimeters, inches, degrees, or other formats. Choosing the appropriate system at the start ensures consistency when entering dimensions or interpreting values. While metric units are commonly used for engineering and 3D printing, 
imperial units may be preferred in certain regions or industries. The unit system can be changed at any time through the preferences menu. Next, the application theme sets the overall look and feel of the interface, colors, icons, and contrast. FreeCAD includes several built-in themes like light, dark, flat, and classic. While the dark theme helps reduce glare and works well for extended sessions, the classic theme has become my preferred choice for its balance, contrast, and familiar appearance. Theme selection is available in the Preferences dialog under the General section. Finally, the navigation style determines how the mouse interacts with the 3D view. Several presets are available, such as CAD style, Blender style, or touchpad friendly options. Selecting a familiar style helps streamline camera control and object interaction. For this walkthrough and all remaining sections, I'll be keeping it set to CAD, which offers a well-balanced and intuitive experience. Navigation settings can always be adjusted later in the Preferences dialog under the Navigation section. After choosing the settings and closing the dialog, FreeCAD will continue to the Start Workbench. Above the workspace, several key interface elements define the application layout. These elements may vary slightly depending on the FreeCAD version and operating system. This demonstration uses FreeCAD version 1.0.0 on Windows 11. By default, FreeCAD opens with the Start Workbench, which serves as a home screen. Once a new file is created or an existing one is opened, the program typically switches to the most recently used modeling workbench based on the previous session's activity. At the very top is the menu bar, which provides access to essential commands such as File, Edit, View, Help, and more. Just below it sits the Workbench Selector, a drop-down menu that controls the active toolset and determines which workbench is currently in use. On the same line as the Workbench Selector and continuing onto the line below, though depending on the version this might be a single line, are the toolbars. Each workbench includes its own set of toolbar icons, which appear dynamically alongside the selector and update based on the active workbench. The toolbar icons are initially grayed out and will only become active once a project has been created or opened, as FreeCAD requires a loaded document to enable its modeling tools. With the initial setup complete, FreeCAD opens to the Start Workbench. This acts as a central hub for creating or opening projects and provides quick access to recent files and templates. The layout is divided into three sections, new file, recent files, and examples. Each panel offers different ways to begin working on a project. The new file panel presents several starting points depending on the type of project. Each option launches the appropriate workbench, and sets up the environment for a specific design task. First is the parametric part. It opens a blank document suited for creating fully parametric 3D models using the part design and sketcher workbenches. These workbenches work together to build solid features from 2D profiles with every action recorded in a model history. This approach makes it easy to revise dimensions constraints, or features at any time without starting over. Next is the assembly option. It launches the assembly workbench, which is used to position, align, and constrain multiple parts into a single functioning design. This is especially useful when working with projects that involve moving parts or modular components. The assembly workbench provides tools to manage part relationships, define constraints between faces, and simulate mechanical interactions. To the right of the assembly option, 2D Draft provides a starting point in the Draft Workbench, ideal for line-based construction, annotations, and schematic layouts. It includes tools for creating precise 2D geometry that can be extruded into 3D shapes or used as reference guides. The BIM Architecture option opens the BIM Workbench tailored for building information modeling. 
It includes specialized tools for creating architectural elements like walls, windows, floors, and columns, along with tools to define levels and manage construction phases. This workbench is particularly well suited for architects and engineers working on building scale projects. The last two entries, empty file and open file, offer flexible starting points. Empty file creates a blank document without a default workbench, giving full control over how the project begins. Open file launches a file dialog for selecting an existing project, which FreeCAD then opens in the appropriate workbench automatically. Located just below the new file panel, the recent files section displays a list of projects opened or saved in previous sessions. The default number shown is four, but this can be adjusted in the preferences dialog. Selecting an entry immediately opens the file in its appropriate workbench, making it easy to continue where work left off. Wrapping up the start workbench overview, the examples panel at the bottom provides access to demonstration files bundled with FreeCAD. These files showcase a variety of modeling techniques and workbench-specific workflows. Opening an example is a useful way to explore how different tools are applied in real-world designs. The first example demonstrates the assembly workbench, showing how to combine multiple individual parts into a single structured model. It showcases key techniques such as creating constraints, positioning components, and managing relationships between parts. The following example focuses on the BIM workbench, illustrating techniques for architectural modeling. It includes structural components like walls, windows, and floors, and highlights tools for layout planning and section management. Continuing the tour, the engine block example demonstrates general modeling techniques using a fully parametric workflow. It emphasizes precise geometry creation, constraints management, and the importance of part relationships in designing mechanical components. The FIM example explores the finite element method workbench, which is used for performing structural analysis. It includes a basic model and demonstrates how to assign materials, generate a mesh, and apply boundary conditions. The simulation is then run and the resulting stress patterns are reviewed. The final example highlights the part design workbench, building on concepts shown in the edge and block model. It focuses specifically on creating a 3D model from a fully constrained 2D sketch, demonstrating key steps such as padding, pocketing, and refining the model using sequential features, emphasizing the power of parametric design. This example sets the stage for the next part of the series which will provide a step-by-step -step guide to working in part design. While the start workbench and its panels provide a convenient visual way to begin projects, every action demonstrated in this walkthrough can also be performed through FreeCAD's menu system. Whether creating a new file, switching workbenches, or accessing specific tools, the menu bar offers direct access to all major functions. As familiarity with the interface increases, the menu system may become an efficient alternative especially for repetitive tasks or when working without the start screen. This should provide a good overview on how to use FreeCAD. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. Stick around for more FreeCAD tips, tricks, and builds right here on Nerding Out with Nevin. In my next tutorial, I'll provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to use part design and sketcher workbenches.